Hey y'all, it's me, the Indie Comic Book Guy. After I did the video on the top 10 successful Kickstarter tips, one of my subscribers, they suggested I do one on Patreon. Now, I haven't run a Patreon, but I have lots of friends who have. I talked to them, they gave me a lot of great tips, so I, I hope this helps. First one, build an audience first. Before you even think about launching a Patreon account, Build an audience. You have to have an established fan base. Otherwise, no one will care that you have a Patreon. No one will follow you. No one will donate a dollar a month or $25 a month or whatever the amount. If you don't have a fan base, no one will care. Build an audience first for via YouTube, via your podcast, via your artwork, your writing, whatever the case may be. You have to have an established audience first. Otherwise, your Patreon will not succeed. This should be the most simplest of tips. You have to have an established audience. Second tip, make it worth their while. Once you get that audience, you have to offer them some exclusive content to make them want to pay you on a monthly basis, other than what they, they're they getting for free. You have to understand this. You have to make it worth their while. If you're an artist and they see you drawing all the time, eh, I can see you draw anytime. What am I going to get for free? What? If you're a musician, you might get a thousand spins a day. I said spins like radio. If you're a musician, you might get 10,000 or 100,000 hits on your music video. Or your streaming may be out of this world. You have a lot of people listening to your music. But you put that song on there for a dollar. Crickets. No one's buying it. You have to ask yourself why. Why is it that the same audience will stream your content, will listen to your audiobooks, will go and read your digital comic book for free, but will not spend one dollar to buy it? That same audience, you think they're going to spend their hard-earned money each month on you if they won't spend a dollar on you? What? are you doing to make it worth their while? That's the question you have to ask yourself. If you can't even get them to spend a dollar on a song for one song, or a dollar on one comic book, or one dollar on your Kickstarter campaign, what are you going to do to make it worth their while to back you on a monthly basis? I don't know why I keep doing this. <laughs> Just... Just the way my hand's working right now. But you have to make it worth their while. You have to offer them some type of exclusive content that they cannot get anywhere else. And speaking of exclusive content, this brings me to my next tip. Exclusives should stay exclusive. If you have a podcast and you're offering your Patreon backers exclusive episodes, Keep them exclusive. Don't turn around and offer these and release these same episodes two or three months later because otherwise people are like, eh, they're going to offer this these episodes two or three months later and I can listen to them. No, it doesn't work that way. If you have a novel and you have two chapters that are exclusive only to your Patreon backers that will not be in the book, don't put those in the book when it comes out. They're going to feel cheated. Why did I back you on a monthly basis to read these up the chapter updates and you're going to put them in a the final product? Exclusives have to be exclusive. Now, let's talk about early access. Now, I know some YouTubers, some podcasters, they will have early access episodes where people can check out. No problem with that. That is actually a cool idea. But, you have to remember, getting content first is different from exclusive content. Keep the exclusive content exclusive, 
And the early access content, give it to those early backers who are there for you. Again, back to the first tip, build that fan base. Don't confuse early access and exclusive content. They should not be the same. They should not be the same. And my final tip is, are people willing to pay you? Again, people may love your podcast, your YouTube channel, your book, or whatever, but are they willing to pay for it? That's the big question. There are millions of local musicians who get thousands of hits a day on their songs. I said this earlier. And if they're not, if these fans are not willing to spend a dollar for that download, despite loving that song, why would they pay you on a monthly basis for your content? That is the question you have to ask yourself. What kind of content are you providing that people will pay for on a monthly basis? You figure that out, you may have a successful Patreon. But if you cannot provide content that people are willing to pay for on a monthly basis, you're wasting your time. It won't succeed. I talk to many people that run Patreon, some successfully, some not successfully, and they all run into these same problems. They're like, what are people willing to put their dollar or their two dollars or their five or even their fifty dollars behind me a month that I can offer them? It's a whole different beast from running a Kickstarter program where you're just have 30 days or 60 days where you're like, hey, I need help right now to get this funded. With Patreon, you're asking them to support your cause on a monthly basis. Whole different beast. Make that content worth it. If you don't have the fan base, if you don't have the audience that's willing to back you, do not run a Patreon campaign. I can't stress this enough. You're wasting your time you're wasting the audience time if you do not have that audience. Speaking of audience, notice I said audience. I didn't say your audience. Patreon has a growing community that loves supporting creative content. Are you backing anyone on Patreon yourself? If you're not, Get familiar with that program. Get familiar with Patreon. Back other Patreon uh, users. Find out what kind of content you, yourself, are willing to back on a monthly basis. Figure this matrix out, and it may give you some insights as to what you can offer. See what other people are willing to pay $5 or $10 or $20 for on a monthly basis. Once you get that, you got to find out the analytics. How long are people willing to pay for this content? One month, two months, three months, a year? Whatever the case may be, do not try to make a living off your Patreon. Don't try to buy a house with Patreon money. It's going to be a slow burn. Some people feel that, eh, I get a few bucks coming in a month. $50 here, $60 there, and maybe even $100, $150. If you're looking at Patreon as a way of getting an extra $1,000 a month, unless you are semi-famous, that's not going to happen to you. There are many popular YouTubers right now who have Patreons. They're not getting an extra 1000 or 2000 a month. They might get 100 here, 200 there. But again, grow your audience before you even think about running a Patreon. Find out what said audience is willing to pay. Offer them exclusive content that they're willing to pay you for on a monthly basis. You do these things, hey, you might find a backer or two that's willing to back you. Grow that. Learn the system. Back other people. And if this works, let me know. That's all I have for you today. Good luck out there. Continue to crowdfund the game. Let's have some fun.